Uh, good afternoon everybody, hope you're all well out there, all staying safe. Uh, just wanted to do a quick unboxing, just had this arrive today from Hannant's here in the UK. Um, it's the Edward Sopwith F1 Camel, the BR1 version in 148 scale. Um, I've had a number of Sopwith Camels and none of them have been um, successfully built. Um, really struggle with biplanes but I'm determined to to get one built so I thought I could pick this up as it had become available again and I quite like the 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 artwork here this uh, greyhound motif on it so um, that, that I hope comes in decals um, I have opened the box so you know and I, I want to see what it's like but I thought I'd show everybody as well so let's uh, move that out of the way because that was holding the box lid and stopping the glare um, this is a really good it's the profi pack version um, by Edward um, I looked at the parts before the parts and mouldings are really really good um, excellent detail no flash no ejection pin marks in in horrible places or places where you have to deal with them it's got an excellent selection of of parts there are options to build um, the engine options whoo that box that for that. right the engine options um, are, are there you've you've got um, different options to build so when you know when you go through this um, you're going to have to decide fairly early on which option you're going to build um, because you've got all of these parts and that's one of the brilliant things at least at the end of the day you'll have loads of spare parts the mouldings are really good the, the instrument panels look at look, the options there um, for the instrument panels are really good and uh, yeah some really good really really good mouldings um, excellent stuff which you sort of half expect from Edward um, the fuselage parts whoops the fuselage parts that, that part actually just fell off the fell off the sprue as I was picking it out of the box and I did notice just there a bit of flash a bit of flash there which is pretty unusual um, but hey that you know we can work with that it's not a problem the wings uh, are molded in one piece so you haven't got to worry about seams and things and the the sprue gates are really quite small so you won't have a lot of um, remaining parts to sand down really nice detail on the inside of the the fuselage it's actually got three options on the fuselage and that's because of the different different types of fuselage that there were with slightly different um, slightly different finishes on a fuselage but really nice parts clear parts are in the, in here um, just one or two small really tiny parts I don't want to get this out of the bag to be honest but uh, there's that um, uh, also in the pro because it's the profit pack you get a mask set for the the amount of clear parts that that there is there's also a printed etch part uh, sprue for some of the excellent stuff including including the seat belt and the wicker on the on the seats and I might actually get, go for the brass in um, resin resin seat um, because I think that that is actually a, a far look at the, the decals we'll take these out of the bag first I suppose but the decal options are really nice um, I'm not altogether sure I'm just having a look um, they're okay but the carrier film seems to be quite large on some of these decals um, these C's um, for the option with that the carrier film is right across there so you know you'd have to make sure that the surfaces were really good 
and um, same here with these line spacings uh, on this option um, there's a lot of carrier film between them and, and I think to, to be honest with, with markings like that I'm sure you could spray those as well um, this one here with the circular um, blue ring there there's quite a bit of carrier film there so again um, I think you need to put you know, a, a, a good gloss coat down before you put these decals on um, and then hopefully that would do away with any silvering caused by the by the decals and the, the colours colour registration although is, is really quite good uh, and the white borders around around these markings are really good um, if you can hear some sounds in the background it's just the the uh, bin men have arrived to collect the rubbish yeah they would do wouldn't they anyway it's my rubbish so I can't moan um, instructions instructions for Edward <coughs> excuse me Ed, Edward kits are really good um, typical typical layout instruction signs sprue call outs and as you can see on this the areas marked in blue are parts that aren't required for, for this particular kit nice big colour call outs um, using Mr. Colour and uh, the guns stuff so the aqueous, aqueous and the Mr. Colour colours are down there and and mission models well, I don't see mission models very often here in the UK um, but the general build sequence is really quite straightforward options to go plastic or or, or photo etch really simple step-by-step -step build typical of Eddard um, really nice engine details can't wait to get into that and then basically step by step all the way through the build until you get to the you know this this is the part that always I always have problems with is, is the you know putting the second wing in and making sure everything's square and all that sort of stuff so like I said I'm determined to get one built and this one seems to be the best one to do and then you've got the rigging diagrams which that's going to challenge me I know <coughs> colour call outs there is one two three four five colour call out options one with the greyhound on it for an Australian pilot um, this sort of black one black Mariah for a Canadian pilot this one here is another Canadian pilot um, this one pretty well known I think this one here is another pilot uh, he's a um, British pilot who was in the Royal Navy when he joined up at the beginning of the First World War and this one here is an, another UK pilot with really interesting um, graphics on this one with a sort of stylized Cleopatra and a swirling snake, snake design that's easy to say a swirling snake design around the fuselage which is that, that's a really interesting colour scheme and I'm, I might actually do that one I'm not sure <coughs> and then on the back there's adverts for other goodies that are available for this kit made by Edouard uh, just to super detail but some of these parts are actually in in this kit like these these additional parts for the for the guns um, they're in the kit I saw those in the etch set so all in all really good kit um, I hope that's like useful to you and if you are building it good luck and uh, take care out there see you guys later take care bye bye